It is unbelievable the amount of people who continue to blame Trump and J.D. Vance for these bomb threats that came into these schools and other venues. It came out yesterday that it was a foreign country. That came out from the governor of Ohio, who made that clear. Here he is in stop 40. Least 33 separate uh, bomb threats, each one of which uh, has been uh, responded to, and each one of whom has been found uh, as a hoax. So 33 uh, threats, 33 hoax. I will make that very, very clear. None of these had any validity uh, at all. Uh, we have people, uh, unfortunately, overseas uh, who are taking these actions. Uh, some of them are coming from one particular country. Um, we think that this is, uh, you know, one more opportunity to mess with the United States. And they're, they're continuing to do that. Let me just remind you of that Nora O'Donnell clip that we just played. That This is her last night, last night, Monday night. We knew by then that it was not a local, that it was hoaxes from overseas. Listen. Donald Trump is blaming Democrats for inflaming political rhetoric, but the former president's own words seem to be increasing the threat of political violence in Springfield, Ohio. That's where a false and ugly accusation against Haitians, thousands of whom are legal permanent residents, is impacting everyday life. She just goes with it. Just double down. Didn't happen. Didn't hear it. No, it's got to be a Trump inspired loon. It's the Proud Boys. It's one of those guys. For sure. I just know it in my heart, notwithstanding what the governor had released. We knew this yesterday afternoon. And here's Anna Navarro. Here she is on The View yesterday before we knew, but she was totally, sorry, she was, no, no. Okay, sorry. This is, uh, yeah, so this, here she is, yes, here, here she is on CNN this morning after we knew. Okay, after we knew. Take a listen. Donald Trump and J.D. Vance are not questioning their rhetoric. Right now, because of their rhetoric, because of what he said in that debate, there's been 33 bombing threats in Springfield, Ohio. That would not have happened but for this false conspiracy theory being spread by the vice presidential and presidential Republican candidate. She's on CNN News. In news, she should have been fact-checked with, that isn't true. And she was, she did receive blowback online for saying that after we heard the governor of Ohio say, it isn't true, that this was a hoax. That's was, you heard him, that's his word. These were hoaxes by people trying to just mess with us. This was not inspired by Trump. If it was, there's zero evidence of that, Anna, zero. What's your proof? You're so upset about proof on the cats and dogs. I mean, I've, I saw two cats on a barbecue, so there's that. But let's put that to the side. What's your proof that Donald Trump inspired this as opposed to the town council meeting yesterday or last week that person after person showed up to complain at? How do you know what the cause is? What forensic deconstruction did you do of the hoax calls to get to the bottom of it? When Don Jr. online called her out on it, she doubled down. She... There's just no even attempt to stay factual. There's none. I mean, on this show, we told you, we don't know what the truth is about the animals, but we're showing you the evidence that's on the one side, and we're telling you about what the city officials are saying on the other side. The, the, the rest of the media wants to pretend that they have affirmatively settled it, and they haven't. Just false claims, false claims. And of course, this all belies and under, undermines the, the overall issue, which is what the migrants are actually doing to this town, what the residents are actually going through, not just in Springfield, but in towns across this country, because there are over a million of them there or on their way, thanks to this administration. Not to mention the deaths caused in Springfield by these migrants and the murders of Americans caused by illegal immigrants who are literally everywhere. 10.4 million of them plus in the last four years alone. 
Cyber attacks are on the rise, with corporate megastores falling victim to data breaches that could expose your private information. Now, these same megastores are lobbying D.C. politicians to pass the Durbin Marshall credit card bill. According to our sponsor, Electronic Payments Coalition, this bill could leave you even more vulnerable to credit card cyber attacks, while megastores pocket billions in additional profits. Learn more at GuardYourCard.com and then consider telling Congress to guard your card. The Electronic Payments Coalition says Americans lose when politicians choose. Again, that's GuardYourCard.com. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.